Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about expected counts. Now what you see here is a table that already has observed counts and when we calculate the expected counts it's what we expect to see if there's no association between the two variables. So to find them you take the row total times the column total and then divide by the grand total. And to be able to help you visualize it a little bit more, I'm going to color code these cells just so you can see where the values are coming from. So in the inside, all of these are the observed counts, so we will not use them to calculate the expected counts. However, on the outside of the table, the total column and the total row, those values will be used to calculate the expected counts. So all of them, because 100 is the grand total, every cell's expected count will be calculated using 100 as the denominator. However, each cell has a different row total and column total. So here for the dog that's kind to strangers, we would have 50 from the yellow and then 50 from the purple, that's the row and column total respectively, and then we're dividing that by the 100, which is the grand total. So again, you can see that all of them have that blue denominator. Here, a dog that's not kind still has 50, the yellow row total, and now it's moved 50 to the brown, which is the column total for that cell. And then for cats, they'll both have 50 as their row total from the green, uh, but they would have a different column total because they're in different columns. So for each of these cells, we had 25 as our expected count. And that's not always the case, but it's the case here because they all had the same uh, row and column total. One thing that's important to note is that an observed count has to be a whole number because it's what we observed from the data. However, the expected counts don't always have to be whole numbers because it's a calculation as opposed to counting the number of individuals that are in a specific group. So that's a look at expected counts. We'll talk more and practice calculating them more in future videos. See you there.